Lee Mark, how are you feeling right now? I feel perfectly fine. Um, I, I feel like regular normal day, um, ready to go to work. But of course, I'm, I'm in um, quarantine now. So I just have to stay home and make sure that I, I isolate and protect everyone around me. Okay, so explain to me, if you feel <clears throat> normal, how did you know you have COVID? Um, well, I had minor symptoms a um, little bit over a week ago. Um, Named last week Sunday when I was at home, I was doing a little barbecue. I got, got started getting some watery eyes, a little runny nose. So usually when you have smoke, you know, it, it tends to give you these symptoms right here. So I never paid no attention. Uh, but when I got up Monday morning, I felt a little bit of sore throat and the, the watery eyes continue. So I, I told my wife, I said, you know what? Um, I need to isolate right away, just as a precaution. Um, I called the doctor. Um, and he recommended that I get a test just out of the precaution. And I got my test on Wednesday, um, Wednesday afternoon. Um, Saturday evening into the night, I got my results. And it, it's what everybody dreads, you know, they, you're positive. So uh, I, um, I, they, they have recommended that I continue to stay in quarantine and isolated and to make sure that I take my vitamins um, and whatever symptoms I have, you know, I could call in. Mark, how did you catch COVID-19? I guess I, I wasn't too, that as diligent as I should have been. Um, I have been, like most people are, very paranoid. Um, I have older families, <clears throat> older uh, father, mother. <clears throat> my my in-laws are older folks also, so I have young kids, so I always try to be very diligent. I always preach to my staff, uh, my friends, everybody, please keep on your mask, wear your mask properly. I have always kept on my mask properly. Um, whenever I go in public or I'm at work, Anywhere I go, I always try to keep on a mask at all times. The main reason for, for, for me to, you know, coming out is also to bring awareness to everybody that nobody is immune to this COVID. We should all treat everybody like they have it. And that sometimes if that have to be your, your wife, your, your, your picnic, you know, you, you try, you know, keep that distance, you know. Um, yes, it's very hard, but, you know, we have to do it. I've been doing it for um, a little bit over a week now. And let me tell you, being in isolation slash quarantine is no joke. Um, after a while, you get frustrating, you know, you, you're in a quarantine or self-isolation and you don't know if you have it or not have it. If you have it, okay, you know you have to stay. But if you don't have it and you feel like you're, you're normal like I did, you know, I was very tempted to, 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 to pick up and, and go about the house. And if I would have done that, you know, I would have probably infected my, my children, you know, my wife and everybody in the household. So thank God I stayed in and um, I maintained um, separation from, from everyone, kept on a mask at all times. So I hope that people <clears throat> take this uh, advice. You know, stay, if, if you feel like you have it, stay isolated. I would also say from outside, I would say, boy, you got a high risk lifestyle. You, you are a, a politician three months away from a general election, <laughs> less than three. So you're campaigning. Second, you own a restaurant which uh, many hundreds of people, I would imagine, pass through every day. Since March, uh, actually February going to March, um, I have pretty much ceased on, on campaigning um, because of the safety. Because we, we know right now in this ep ep epidemic time, nobody really wants to when to go campaign uh, because they're afraid for you or you're afraid for them. In terms of the business, I have al always maintained to my staff that they need to keep their keep on their mask properly. Sometimes I even need for threatening. I tell them, Bali, if you can't keep on your mask properly, you know, you need to find another job. Um, I've checked with the restaurant and with my managers and to make sure that everybody, you know, is in good health and good standing. So if you have any type of symptoms, you know, let us know. I am prepared to to close if I have to. I'm just waiting for the the um the Department of Health Services to to call me so that um they can make their recommendations. We have to do the responsible thing at all times. I hear you with a little cough. You <clears throat> coughed a few times in there. Do you think that is a consequence of COVID and how is your overall respiratory situation? Well, not really. What happened is I'm, <clears throat> I'm a little bit dry, dry, dry right now because I just had my cigarette, my, my, my morning coffee. And you it usually have COVID dries and you're still smoking. I try to keep chance, you know, and I need to stop. I, you're not the first person to tell me, but as I am, I have to stop. Uh, but, you know, usually in the morning when I take a cigarette, and to, for those who smoke, will we, we'll know that when you smoke um, your cigarette in the morning, you do have a little raspy throat. 
but okay. I, I have literally no symptoms at all, literally. What are the possible ways? We know that washing hands is a huge issue. We know that cell phones are a huge issue. Where did you slip down? <clears throat> I mean, um, it's all up in the air. I really cannot pinpoint to say what it was, but about uh, two weeks ago, I had a situation in front of my, my business establishment where there was a, a minor offender bender. And of course, it included one of my staff and, and one, um, well, not a customer, but he came to pick up somebody. And um, I told him, well, you, you need to call insurance. <clears throat> I passed my phone over to, to, to this individual, my friend, and um, I think I cannot confirm that. I passed my phone over to him and he gave the insurance agent the information and I did not sanitize my phone afterwards. And, and is that, and do you know if that person has COVID-19? <clears throat> you know, it could happen to anybody. I'm telling you, anybody. Um, even how preventative, how cautious I am, I still got it. So I just want to make sure that everyone knows, you know, please wear your mask. Um, social distance, keep, keep your hands sanitized, treat everybody like they have it, you know, and protect yourself at all times.